I first became interested in animation, I would say, as an infant. So at some point, my father came across a bunch of old 16 millimeter films and the experience of seeing the film projector running and of seeing cartoons that I was not able to see on tape or on television was really a mesmerizing experience for me. From that point forward, I was hooked. Silent animation is kind of a lost art form, like silent films are very much a part of Film Canada, but silent animation kind of gets lost in the way. Most people don't know that there was animation before Steamboat Willie. The basics of animation came about through trial and error. When you're assigned a scene and something has to happen, you have to really invent how you're going to do it. The ability to do identical images with a slight difference on an industrial scale it's just incredible. A lot of these guys were young, a lot of these guys were drinking. This was during Prohibition especially. There's a lot of winging it going on. I've always felt that animators sit there, they flip these drawings on their desk and saying, I'm a genius, I'm a genius. Because they see something happening that they didn't really know if it was going to work or not. It's fascinating to romp through the teens and the 20s with quirky, interesting characters in stories that are not necessarily only for kids, that reflect a very different era. I began collecting them so I could watch them myself, but I figured that there must be other people like me out there who wanted to see these things. The wonderful thing about film is to be able to share it with others. The best of the silent era has never been surpassed. It is tragic that so much has been lost already, and it would be madness to let any more go. The next generation would condemn us if we didn't preserve it.